Hi crafters, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am going to show you how to create this very beautiful quill flower wall hanging clock. So this is a wall clock and also I have attached one cute butterfly. So let's start with the procedure. For this we need some 3 mm quilling strips, scissor, some yellow thread pollens, half cut pearls, quilling tool, liquid glue, silicone glue, one pattern paper, one piece of cardboard and one wooden clock dial. This is easily available in craft stores or online. First I am making my first flower for this. I am taking one strip of pink color, half strip of white and one fourth strip of purple. Just make a tight leaf shape. Here I am making the biggest petal. So this is done. So these are the large size petal. Now for the medium size I am taking half strip of pink color, half strip of white color and one fourth strip of purple color. Again make a tight leaf shape. like this and for the smallest petal I am taking one fourth strip of pink, one fourth strip of white and one fourth strip of purple. Again make a tight leaf shape. Like this. So we need total 12 large petals, 10 medium petals and 10 small petals. Here I have taken some silicone glue on one piece of paper and I am starting with the outest layer by adding these large size petal in round shape. So first layer is done. Now for the second row I am adding medium size petals. Now I am adding smallest size petal. Before adding smallest size petal, I am adding this bunch of yellow color thread pollens and fill remaining gap around this pollens using small size petals. So this is done, flower is ready, now let it dry for some hours. Now I am starting with the second flower. For this I am taking one purple strip and just making 5 loops in increasing order. Like this. Now cut excess strip and secure the end. Now I am taking pink color strip and I am connecting on right side. Now again make one large size loop and I am making this pink loop on both sides of this purple loops. Now creating two more loops in little decreasing order and create two more loops like this now wrap this whole petal using remaining pink strip cut excess strip and secure the end now I will wrap this whole petal using purple color strip this is a dark purple strip and my one strip length is 45 cm So the petal is ready. In the same way we need total 8 petals. So I am constructing the flower by adding all the petals together. So this is done. 
Now I'm adding one half cut pearl in the center of the flower. To create this flower 3D, just push the flower on your palm after it gets dry. Now I'm starting with these Malaysian flower petals. For this, I'm taking one strip of yellow and one fourth strip of orange. Just make a loose coil first. Secure the end and pinch this petal like this and twist this petal using your tool. Now wrap this whole petal using orange color strip. Secure the end. So petal is ready. In the same way we need total 7 petals. So join all 7 petals together. For the center of this flower, I have created this tight coil using purple strip. I have joined total two strips together to create this tight coil. So just add glue in the center of the flower and connect this purple tight coil. In the same way, I have created one more yellow and two orange flowers in just opposite combination. Now I am starting with this cute flower. For this, I am taking half strip of pink color and making one bended teardrop shape. Like this. In the same way, I have created one more bended teardrop. Now I am taking one fourth strip of yellow color and making one teardrop shape. Now join all three petals. And I will wrap this whole petal using dark purple strip. In the same way we need total 6 petals. So join all the 6 petals together. And for the center of the flower, I am using half cut pearl. So, the pink flower is also ready. Now, I will show you how to create these leaves. For this, I am taking half strip of sap green color and making one bended teardrop shape. Like this. In the same way, I have created two large, two medium, four small, and one simple teardrop shape. Now take one strip of sap green color and connect these bended teardrops in decreasing order. To decrease the size, just cut little strip each time. So the leaf is ready. In the same way, I have created total 6 leaves. Now I will start with this kind of leaf. For this, I am taking half strip of light green color and I have connected one fourth strip of dark green with this. Just make a leaf shape. And connect all three leaves with each other. Like this. In the same way I have created these leaves. For this type of leaf I have used medium green color. 
Now I have created some scrolls using light green and sap green combinations. If you want to learn these scrolls, I have given link in description box. You can learn from that link. Now I am taking this piece of mount board. This is a square piece. This measures 25 by 25 centimeter, and I have added one pattern paper on top of this, and also added this clock dial, which is having 5 inch diameter. This is a ready-made clock dial. Now I will start decorating this by adding flowers. So I have cut excess paper around this silicone flower, and now I am connecting one yellow tight coil in the bottom part of this flower to give it little height. So connect this flower in the corner. Now I will add all the flowers, leaves, and scrolls to decorate this clock. So this is done. Now I am taking this cute butterfly, which I have created using the same color combination as flowers. If you want to learn this type of butterfly, I have given link in description box. You can learn from that link. Now I will connect this butterfly in the right lowest corner, like this. Let it dry for some time. So it's completely dried now. So the beautiful frame is ready. Now you can just frame this using glass frame to protect the flower, and you can attach clock hands in the center. So the frame is ready. I have glass frame and also added the hands to this, and I have also added the machine on back side so that it will work. like a real clock so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time bye bye